when you start to be curious and ask questions and discover, you're riding into the unknown and it will help you get unstuck. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about the question of do you write what you know or do you write what you don't know? There is a very common piece of writing advice that says write what you know. I think Mark Twain is credited with that, but don't quote me on that. The question is how true is this? How necessary is it to write what you know or what you don't know? I think this is an important question, especially when you're thinking about what story you want to tell, but also if you're stuck in writer's block. It's just an important thing to think about. So I want us to address it. Now there are many ways of writing and I think the, the unfortunate nebulous answer is that depends on you. Um, you can write what you know, but you can also write things that you don't know. I think that when you're wanting to explore something you don't know much about, What's going to resonate through is the experience you do have and what you do know and how you can bring it to the story. If you're writing about a soldier but you've never been a soldier, you have certain things you need to do. You need to learn what it means to be a soldier. But once you learn those things that you don't know to write your story, your soldier might feel envy. Your soldier might feel despair. Maybe you've felt envy and despair. That you can bring to your soldier and your story. That's how that works. So I think when you write what you don't know, you're setting about discovering things about yourself and your characters, the world you live in, and your story world. When you write what you know, you're sort of processing and you can still discover new things. You can discover new ways of knowing what you know, but there's a way that it's reflective and processing. One tends to look more backward and one tends to look more forward. They're both wonderful and fine. And again, like many things in story, they exist on a spectrum. Grace Paley is a writer, and she has a couple of interesting quotes from her perspective on this that I wanted to share with you. And the first one is that she says, her, well, her advice, again, this is one perspective, is you write from what you know, but you write into what you don't know. And she also says, the writer is not some kind of phony historian who runs around answering everyone's questions with made up characters tying up loose ends. She is nothing but a questioner. Now Grace's perspective is more that of taking what I know but moving into what I don't know. If I know envy and jealousy, fine, but I'm going to move into this area that I don't know and I'm going to explore a new territory, whether it's an, a new emotion or whether it's um, the experience of, say, being a soldier. And, you know, when you move into a new territory of emotion, I might say, well, I know envy. I know something of envy. I've envied people, but I don't know what it would look like if envy totally overtook someone? What would happen if someone became so envious that it just wrecked them? It transformed them as a person into a really bad condition. I don't know personally what that's like, but I'm going to discover into that. That would be Grace Paley's perspective. She would say that's what it means to take what you know and write into what you don't know. If you are writing a story and you're stuck, embrace being stuck. I've said this before and I know I'll say it again, but we tend to beat ourselves up when we're writing and we hit a block. We say, what? How did I? You know, we don't tend to be proud of ourselves for getting a ton done to the same degree that we will just pummel ourselves for hitting a roadblock. If you hit a roadblock and you start to get angry at yourself for hitting it, you're going 
to not help yourself go forward. If you hit a roadblock and you get curious about that and you say, why am I stuck? Why am I here? You, you're curious about your roadblock. How did I get here? I wonder why this feels stuck to me. Ask all kinds of questions. That's going to help you move forward faster. Being angry or being at yourself or concerned or worried that you're stuck won't help. So if you're stuck and you feel like, I don't know, embrace that this is a moment in your writing where you're going to write into the next thing. Stop thinking about, oh, I don't know what's going to happen next, therefore I'm stuck. No, you might not know what's going to happen next, but that doesn't stop you from discovering. It stops you from knowing what's happening next. But that's where you go, I'm still pushing forward by saying, well, I wonder where everyone is. Why do I feel stuck right now? That sounds like um, a silly question, but it's not because if you investigate it, it's going to help you get unstuck. When I have clients and students come to me and they say, Borb, I'm stuck. <laughs> That's the question I often ask. Why are you stuck? And they'll look at me and just, because I'm stuck, because I don't know what's going to happen next. Why don't you know? Why don't you know what's going to happen next? Is it because you don't know what this character's thinking? It's because you don't know the direction your story is going? Is it because you don't know the emotion that you next want your readers to feel? Why are you stuck? And the more I get them to say, well, I'm, I'm always knocking, so I have a little podium here, you can't see it, but I'm always knocking things off of it, including my little, um, I don't know, remote control, sorry. By the way, if you haven't liked and subscribed to this video and clicked the bell icon, would you take a moment and do that, please? It is so helpful for me and I would greatly appreciate it. When I'm working with a student, to go back to what I was saying, sorry, investigate the question. And when you do, you start to say, well, I'm not sure what's going to happen next because um, I don't know. I don't know what she's feeling right now. I don't, I don't really know what I w want her to achieve. I don't know. That's when you start to say, okay, well, what do I want her to achieve? Who do I want this character to become? What's the goal of my story? You know, what are the possibilities of what she might do? When you start to be curious and ask questions and discover, you're writing into the unknown and it will help you get unstuck. If you are not sure the story you want to write, take some time to think about what's the story I want to tell? What do I know from my past? Or what is something that really interests me that I'd like to know more about? Asking those sorts of questions is going to help you find the story that you want to tell. I have a Discover Your Story challenge that will help immensely with this, actually. So if you're interested in trying to figure out what you want to write, I'll leave a link to that below and somewhere on this video, and you can go look at that for more help. But in general, when you're thinking about writing, it's not necessarily you have to write what you know or that you have to just discover new things. It's a blend of both, but often taking what you know and moving forward into what you don't know is the best way to proceed, not just with discovering your story, but with moving forward from writer's block. I hope this is helpful. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I thank you so much for watching and I wish you well with your writing. Bye.